Okay, let's go ahead and figure out how many degrees are from uh, 130. Now, this could be AM or PM. It doesn't make a difference. So we're going to start at 130, and we're going to end at 10 o'clock. Okay, so how many degrees are there between 130 and 10 o'clock? Of course, we're talking about um, a clock here, face of a clock. And this is just a good um, basic example to uh, work with circles and understand the measure of degrees. Okay, this is very, very important stuff. And we'll play around with this problem now. If you think you could figure this out, definitely uh, pause the video and work on it uh, for a minute or two. Of course, I'm going to uh, walk you through this step by step, and we're going to reinforce our understanding of degrees and circles, which are very, you know, this is important stuff for sure. But uh, we're going to get to this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best, okay, online math help programs that there is. I really believe that. I work so hard uh, to develop what I think is just uh, the most comprehensive, in-depth instruction out there. Okay, you're not going to see quick little tutorials in my math help program. I really teach uh, to get anybody to master the material. Right, so that's why it's taken me years and years and years. And uh, you know, I uh, have this uh, what I like to believe just a obsessive passion and commitment to help us students learn mathematics. So. Um, if you want to check out my math help program, by the way, uh, follow the link in the description of this video. You can check out all my courses there. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2. I'm going to be launching uh, pre-calculus here shortly. Very excited about that because I love teaching advanced mathematics. But um, I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for uh, the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, GMAT, GRE, ASVAB, maybe the CLEP exam, maybe the ACUPLACER, maybe the ALEX uh, uh, math test. Um, maybe you got to take that thing. Uh, maybe you're taking a teacher certification exam. Maybe you are applying to nursing school and uh, you got to take the TAS. All those exams and many others have significant math on them. Okay, And if you don't do well on the math section, you do not do well on the exam. So let me help you prepare. Again, just uh, go to my website. The link is in the description of the video and uh, see if, my, if your exam is there. Okay. Uh, if it is not, drop me a line and I'll give you some guidance on how to prepare my best recommendations. Now, I also do a lot with independent uh, learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I've uh, been helping homeschoolers for 15 plus years. I have a great homeschool learning program that you might want to check out. And then obviously help those of you that are just having a tough time in your math course. Now, if you're truly serious about wanting to learn math or improve in mathematics, then you have to be serious about note-taking. Okay, So over decades of teaching mathematics, those students who uh, take excellent math notes always end up with you know a nice smiley face. They're just like so happy and proud of themselves. Uh, because, listen, they've done the work, okay, and they uh, do very well on exams. And uh, the reverse is true. Those students who like to, uh, you know, look at their cell phone, maybe they have their best friend that sits in the back of the class that takes great math notes, and then they copy from them. You know the deal. Listen, I was a student once way back in the good old 1980s, and I was always trying to get away with stuff. Uh, and if I had a cell phone back in those days, all right, I don't even think I would have graduated. So I understand distractions. I understand we live in a very noisy world. But if you want to be successful in anything, you better learn how to focus. All right, you got to learn how to focus. That's the bottom line. There's no shortcuts. So if you stay in a um, highly focused state, if you can do that, the best way to do that is to be taking great notes. All right, you're going to do very well. Now, in the meantime, you uh, probably missed a lot of material that you should have <laughs> had in your notes. So I offer uh, detailed, uh, comprehensive math notes you can study from to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so here we go. So we're starting at 1.30. Okay, and here's this. Basically, we're talking about a clock. And so from here to here, this is what we call an arc, all right, in geometry. I just want to know how many degrees this is, how many degrees. So uh, if you think you could do the do this problem, again, pause the video and go ahead and, and figure it out. It should only take you, you know, a minute or so. But here we go. All right, so let's start getting some things down to help us solve this problem. And uh, the first thing is we uh, we'll understand, understand degrees. Okay, so degrees. What is a degree? 
Well, a degree, okay, is these little things, all right? So a circle, all right, has 360 degrees. So any time we're talking about degrees, this is the little symbol that we put. It's a little tiny circle, goes in the upper right-hand uh, corner. So it's basically gives us the measure of angles, okay? So like this right here, this would be like, say, 30 degrees, okay? Now... What you need to do is have a pretty good sense of uh, the measure of degrees, and we need to talk about a circle. So when we start from the top of a circle and we go all the way and we complete one full revolution, that's 360 degrees. So a circle, okay, one circle like this is 360 degrees. So let's start at zero degrees right here, and when we go around the circle, we will have completed 360 degrees. So uh, if we go from here all the way to here, we've done what? We've been, uh, like, you know, we went halfway around the circle, correct? So from here to here, if I know a circle is 360 degrees, I could take that and divide it by two, you're gonna end up with 180 degrees right there. Okay, so if I went from here to here, that's 180 degrees. And uh, what if I divide that in half again? Well, 180, divided by two is going to be 90 degrees. And then if this little uh, one quarter of a circle is 90 degrees, this ends up being 270 uh, degrees like so. Now we can uh, um, kind of put in the face of our clock, all right, our actual time here. So this is noon, this is what, three, uh, this is uh, six, and this is nine. Okay, so you can kind of see how these correspond to degrees. So let's just talk about these uh, quarter arcs right here. So from here to here, um, what do I have? Well, you got one and you got two o'clock and you got three o'clock, right? So how many degrees are going from zero to one, one to two, and two to three? Now, if this is zero degrees to 90 degrees, just uh, you know, do some basic math here. If I divide this 90 degrees by three, Okay, I'm talking about thirds. Well, from here to here is going to be 30 degrees, and this will be another 30 degrees, and this will be another 30 degrees. So every hour looks like we're displacing uh, zero degrees, right? So uh, that's exactly what is going on. So with that being said, okay, you should now have enough information to figure out how many degrees are between 130, all right, so one. 30 is right here, right? Right there, okay? So you wanna figure out what's the starting degrees from right, th right there, and then just kind of figure out, you know, by using this, and we're going to 10 o'clock, right? So 10 o'clock is right here, so we wanna figure out how many degrees is right, uh, is at uh, this point, okay? So from zero all the way to 10, okay, you'll get that degrees, and then uh, from here to here, then you can do a little bit of subtraction and figure out how many degrees are from 130, actually, let me uh, do my little highlighter here, uh, 130, which would be here, all the way to 10. Now, just as a little side commentary about degrees, so degrees measure uh, is a way that we, it's the most common way we measure angles, but there happens to be another um, way that we measure angles, and it's called radians, and it's actually quite common uh, has to do with this little symbol pi. It's very uh, common when we study more advanced math and trigonometry. So just a little kind of side bonus piece of information there. But the very mo very uh, most uh, common way that we measure angles as uh, angles or circles and whatnot is degrees. Right. So it's that little symbol, radians. Uh, that's a completely different story. If you want to learn more about radians, you might want to check out. Uh, one of my advanced math courses, uh, certainly in my pre-calculus course when I launched that uh, thing here in a couple of weeks. Okay, so uh, let's get to the problem. If you don't want to see the solution yet, uh, you know, continue to work on it, but I'm going to get, uh, solve this thing right now. Okay, so here we go. So I know already know now that, you know, every... Um, hour okay on this clock is going to be 30 degrees so from from here to here from 12 to 1 i'm going to get 30 degrees right so we just kind of figure that out right now now if i'm going 30 minutes i'm going halfway between an hour that's one half of an hour right so 
if every hour is 30 degrees and I'm going half way through one hour, that's 30 minutes, right? This is my uh, 130, okay? So right here, one, uh, one o'clock is going to displace 30 degrees, and then 30 minutes more will give me 15 more degrees, right? So 130 is really at 45 degrees, okay? This is at 45 degrees. Now, if you understand that, then we have to say, okay, well, then what about 10 o'clock? Well, 10 o'clock, remember 9 o'clock here is at 270 degrees, and this is one hour more. So that'd be 270 degrees plus another 30 degrees. That is 300 degrees. Okay, so that's 300 degrees from here, from noon, all the way till 10. And uh, we're starting, though, at 45 degrees. So let's subtract that 45 degrees uh, from that 300 degrees, and we end up with 255 degrees. That is how many degrees from uh, that are uh, going from 1.30 to 10 o'clock. Okay, now... If you got that right, well, then that's very good. I'll give you a happy face uh, with a little mohawk and an A+. Plus, and uh, I'll give you a couple stars. I don't think this was the hardest prom, but, uh, you know, it definitely shows that you know something about degrees and you're able to kind of, you know, reason your way through this particular prom. Now, if you're going to be working with geometry uh, in any uh, shape or, or form, which you will if you're uh, studying mathematics, you need to understand degrees and you got to be comfortable with circles, okay? Circles is uh, tremendously important in mathematics. Very, very common basic figure that we have to know a lot about. Of course, there's other things that we can uh, learn about circles like finding the area, finding the circumference and all kinds of things, finding uh, sectors and arcs, etc. But this was basically an example of uh, determining the measure of an arc, okay? So if you want to learn more about geometry, you might want to check out my geometry course, my full geometry course, but I have a ton of uh, videos in my channel as well. Uh, so if you go to my channel and you want to learn about whatever you want to learn about, uh, you'll see my um, videos are organized in various playlists. So I have pre-algebra, algebra, algebra uh, geometry playlists, just random stuff, basic to advanced mathematics in those categories, and tons of other playlists as well. So hopefully you'll consider subscribing but uh, if you, you know, didn't think this video was a complete waste of time and you actually kind of enjoyed it, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And uh, again, if you, uh, you know, really do like my teaching style and you say, you know what, I want to learn more from this guy, my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.